Hello and welcome to Nature Academy. I'm here today to do yet another video with the series Everything You Need to Know to A Science in One Bit Fat Notebook and Everything You Need to Know About Science. Like before, I'm going to go over the book that's geared towards grades four through sixth grade and show you the inside. This book focuses on What's life about? The planet kingdom, animal kingdom, landscapes, planet Earth, outer space, and the physical world. Like I said before, one of these reasons why I like these particular books is because the full color and the big letters, the big font, verbal um, vertebrates and invertebrates, cold-blooded animals. I mean, it's just so beautiful. It's really, really beautiful. And this, my son is a visual learner. So the more color, the more detail, the better with him. He gets more out of it that way. So, just give you a little sneak peek inside the book. Talk about the rocks. The glaciers, the atmosphere, the seasons of the year, clouds, now it gets into outer space, dealing with the stars and the world, talking about galaxies, the solar system, my son absolutely loves anything dealing with the solar system. And with the eclipse happening, this will be excellent because it's talking about the lunar eclipse, the solar eclipse. It's breaking it down. It's not too overdone that they can read it and get the full understanding on their own. And you can just build upon the information. So that is that book. Now, let's go to the everything, uh -oh, sorry. everything you need to know to ace. Science and one bit fat notebook geared towards middle school years. It starts out. This book will discuss scientific investigations, matter, chemicals, reactions, and solutions, motion, forces, work, energy, outer space, and the universe, solar system, earth, weather, atmosphere, climate, life classifications, and cells, plants, animals, the human body, body systems, history of life, Hereditary evolution, fossils, and the list goes on. Let me just get right into this book. This is my daughter's book. It gets into a little bit of physics and chemistry and life science. I really like the way uh -oh, it has little highlights and stuff of that nature. My daughter absolutely loved the series. She is a she draws and she draws very very well. And I kid you not, if you look at her notes, like when I'm dictating and explaining different things for a new concept for school and I look at her notes, she doodles just like this. So this is right up her alley. So if you have a child that loves to draw um, this book, they'll probably really like it. Like a lot of full color. My daughter really likes this book a lot so that's why i bought her the complete series because i want her to not only learn but i want her to like what she using and learn she'll learn better that way as i said before this is the check your knowledge page and on the very back of that page is your answers and every chapter is like that and as you can see i'm sorry for turning so fast just, uh oh I'm just trying to let you get just an idea of what's in this book. Weather, climate, reproduction. We actually did a pretty cool unit study on cells and DNA. So this book will go right along with it. I think I'm gonna revisit that and use this. It actually talks about the brain as well, the eyes, um, the neural neutrons, how we process things, the plasma blood, white blood cells, platelets. This book is very detailed. The drawings are very, very well. Um, but 
Let me go back to the chapter, chapter five, page 184. I want to show you the part on the solar system because with everything going on with the new solar, the solar eclipse, everyone is really want to know more about it and incorporate it into their homeschool curriculum, talking about outer space. So it gets into it a little bit. Um, not so much detail as the younger version of the book, but of course it still nonetheless talks about the inner planets th themselves. It doesn't get into the lunar eclipse. So if you're looking for something that gets into more detail with the lunar eclipse, this wouldn't be the book for you. But as of the contents of the book itself, it's a very, very well very well oh i'm sorry i'm sorry yes it does talk about the eclipse and the rotation and stuff like that because we haven't made it this far we just started this book this school year so we haven't got through the whole thing yet so it does talk about it the solar eclipse and the lunar eclipse i thought that would be strange if they didn't go over it so where well, they actually do so excuse me i was wrong we only went through the first and second chapter thus far but anyway this is a very good book my daughter loves it i love it because she loves it and it's i like the way it's done and it's a very sturdy book so i hope this helps you figure out whether or not which book you would like to get in my case i i got both <laughs> so again this is tina from lakeshore academy have a good day bye